Hi, I'm Danica. And I'm Sean. And welcome to the February edition of Antifius. First up is a short love story, animated by Grace Kim. The next Habitat for Humanity Build Day is February 19th. Sign-up sheets are in the front office. Come out and help us uh, change a family's life forever. I'm not wearing pants. Next up we have Into the Minds, directed by Riley Braun. What's your word? It's me, you, and Brittany. Got it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a small class, so Claire's group's going to present first, and then the rest of you will present. Laptops down and cell phones put away. Alright. My name is Riley. I'm Brittany. And I'm Claire Mosley. And today we're going to be presenting about the U.S. fiscal policy. They already know our names. Why do we have to say them? Wait, who's Brittany? I've never seen her before. Quit freaking out. You went over your part like 100 times. You will do fine. You're only presenting about behavior adjustment. Or was it resource allocation? Mm, I'm pretty sure Riley is presenting slide number three, but I could be wrong. And that is a laugher curve. Riley, Riley, your slide. Claire, you totally interrupted my T Swift moment. The economic impact of taxes shifts the supply curve. Resource allocation. Why do I have to work with people that don't take these things serious? Man, I still don't know who Brittany is. I wonder why McDonald's doesn't sell hot dogs. They're so good. It smells terrible in here. Ew, he always brings food in here and it stinks it up. He doesn't even have a trust card. I don't have my trust card, but I really need to get on my computer and check my stats. Please don't turn around, Valdez. Close that laptop, Armand. How did she even know? That's right, I have eyes in the back of my head, fool. This is behavior adjustment. I just rocked that presentation. Oh, Riley, you really need to pay more attention in class, buddy. I wish you were as interested as Sarah. I mean, look at her. This is so boring. Why do girls always play with their hair? I will never understand. These are important forms. What are they looking at? Sometimes I wish I could hear what people are thinking. I wonder what Armand is thinking. Look at the birds in the sky. They're so high up there. I wish I could join them. Probably something weird. Whatever. I need to think about more important things, like getting a date to prom. I'm not going by myself. How should I ask my girlfriend to prom? Should I hide in a fortune cookie, make a treasure hunt, bake a cake, create some posters, write it on her car, or should I just ask her? 
Any questions? Please don't ask any questions. I blanked out halfway through the presentation. Great job, guys. Next group. I did great. I did terrible. Glad that's over with. I'm going to give Claire 100, Brittany a 98, and Riley an 85 because I just don't like them. Don't forget to be selling your Mighty Girl dinner tickets. Great job, New Tech. The Red Cross Blood Drive was a huge success. 52 donors helped 159 patients. Keep it up. Next up, we have The Rules to Live by Part 2, created by LLC. In order to keep my laptop safe, I make sure to put this water bottle on the floor. And then, for all the protective gear I have for my laptop, I have a hard shell, followed by a laptop sleeve bought from the school store, put into a hard laptop case, and then put in my backpack. you came to join me on the love sack. You know it. So Valdez, let me ask you a question. What's up? Uh, if you were a pirate, would you put your parrot on this shoulder or this one? Charlie's not the only person that should call Mr. Prettyman. You know it. I'm Juniors and seniors, prom tickets are on sale for $110 till February 21st. From there, they'll be $120 till March 21st. From then on, they'll be $130 till prom. Next up, we have The Future of Energy, directed by Fonji Garcia. We use it every day. We go through our daily routine, never really giving it a second thought. It powers our cars, our technology, it saves lives, it's energy. Energy will allow you to charge your cell phone. Energy will uh, allow you to go from place A to B thanks to the gasoline in your car. So energy is a really part of our lives that we take for granted. Well, I think electricity and energy are a part of the core of our infrastructure, so I, I think we could either collapse or we would have to make do without it and we would suffer some difficulties. There's a lot of things that hold our society together that we're super dependent on energy and we need electricity for, the, for global health. I mean, the number of people that would be in a total crisis situation 
it would be astronomical. I mean, we, we cannot do without energy in our modern world without, without at least a heads up. You know, granted, if we could prepare for it, but man, if someone just pulled a plug one day, it'd be a very different world. We almost take for granted all the new possibilities that are available to us. And as time progresses, we are starting to use up our non-renewable resources, and one day they will ultimately be exhausted. Globally, people are at work trying to solve our energy crisis. I overlook ener our use of energy as a whole so often because it's just standard to me that everything I use um, comes at a cost of using electricity or starting my car, and I, I don't really think about the things that go into it that propel me through my day and the small little functions that are part of our society. Well, I think about energy when my gas tank is low and, and I want to make it to the nearest gas station. That's about, that's about it. But how do we as individuals feel about our global problem? What is the future of our energy? As high school students who are taught the basics of where our energy is headed, we all know our oil is running low, our skies are becoming more polluted, and our environment is becoming more urbanized due to the advancement of our technology. And the one thing that will save us is energy efficiency. Probably the biggest word there to define is what's the future? You know, is the future five years from now? Is it 20 years from now? Is it 100 or 1,000 years from now? I don't think enough is being done. I think we're just waiting until dire things happen to us and that we get put in really desperate situations where we can only use um, renewable sources. If we don't wake up in time, it might be too late. From biomass energy to geothermal, solar, hydroelectric, wind, nuclear, and more, our minds are collaborating together to find a solution to our increasing energy needs. So there's ways to conserve energy. You know, turn off the lights when you are not in the room, uh, walk more, go to the store more, use bikes, because we live in a place where you can go to the store on a bike, for example. If every single day we made a conscious decision and we admitted to ourselves, I can't do everything, but I can do this. I can, you know, whether it's, you're on the freeway, the difference between driving 75 miles an hour and driving 60 miles an hour, it means nothing to your commute, but it makes a little bit of difference in terms of your gas mileage, your efficiency. And, you know, if I'm in the classroom, plugging in a charger versus leaving it, you know, unplugged for the night, that's something I can do. It's really, really small stuff, but we forget that individuals are what make up the big societies that we complain about so often. Time is running out for our Earth. As everyday people, we know there are minds out there trying to find a solution, but we don't feel anything happening. Essentially, we don't know what the world is up to. How can we become involved? The Earth is made up of all of us, and together we can figure out a solution to make the energy of our future a little brighter. I think our generation does play a pretty significant role in that sometimes it's just not a big enough concern to us and we're not as aware of the situation. Do you care? and can you talk about it effectively? And so I think that's the thing that we try to explore is, number one, can you be passionate about a subject, in this case, you know, the energy crisis, but then secondly, can you move that passion into motivation and inspiration for others? Our minds, the future of energy. The Red Cross Club is hosting the CC's Pizza Night, February 22nd. All proceeds will go to the Measles Initiative, so come on out and have a great time. I might be there. Finally, we have Sean and Scott, Waste a Minute of Your Time. Yeah, this one right here goes out to all the babies, mamas, mamas. Mamas, mamas. <laughs> babies, mamas, mamas. Go! Go! I wanna know where to go with I'm sorry, Miss Fanny. I'm sorry, Miss Fanny. Ooh, I am for real. Never meant to make your students cry. I apologize a couple of times. My favorite teacher alive, but she don't like me. She be doing things like having a staff come from a hood trying to fight me. They need to try a piece of shine the sky and swag their way out. It's our house. We do what we want and knock your lights out. And let them know what students are a nuisance and don't pay back. Short lunches, parking lots, macro pros, we hate that. We love you spending and everything. See your classes like a playtown. You got real mad and kicked us out, but our voices stay down. We never got a chance to tell our side of the story was divided. She had baked goods and cookies for her birthday, but I ain't invited. Despite it, I show her the most utmost respect. But when I fall through, all you do is defend that lady when I call you. Yay. I'm sorry, Miss Fanny. Ooh, I am for real. Never meant to make your students cry. I apologize a trillion times. 
I'm sorry, Miss Fanny. Ooh, I am for real. Never meant to make your students cry. I apologize a couple of times. Me and your students got a special deal going on. You say it's copying. We say it's getting by. Hope that we cheat this. Cheat the system forever. You can plan a pretty picnic, but you can't predict the weather. Miss Fanny, ten times out of nine, I've been late to class, fine. But at least it came my lady friends after class and after life. Shay meets Leia, then the puppy love things together. Dream about that girl with the Facebook swing on the webcam. I hope they feel like this forever. Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Forever never seems that long until you're gone. And notice that the school calendar ain't too long. Miss Fanny, my ideas were good, I wish I could. Become a hero of yours like the dashing Ben O. Thoughts of you, thoughts of me, thoughts of he Ask what happened to all of your precious puppy Man, I rap so hard about it, they need to call Jay Z When I wear dark clothes all day, I can't be seen So feel this, though that everything is cool And yes, I will be present on the first day of school and graduation I'm sorry, Miss Fanny, Ooh, I am for real Never meant to make your students cry I apologize a trillion times I'm sorry, Miss Fanny, Ooh, I am for real Thanks for watching this edition of NT Fuse. Be sure to check out ntfuse.com for more features. I'm Danica. I'm Sean. Deuces.